I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by bitrefill.com, your one-stop shop for living on a Bitcoin standard. Sign up and grab gift cards for eSIMs, gaming, e-commerce, your travel needs, food, and much more, and you can buy them all with Bitcoin and Lightning. Sign up today and use code BTC Sessions 10 for some special perks. I'm seeing a huge vibe shift, and I think other people are too, and it's a shift that is Yes, like it's in the direction of being uh, bullish for Bitcoin for lots of reasons, but it's like a pro freedom vibe shift. Like think about where we were like two years ago or one, one year ago. I mean, it, if you're, honestly, it feels like the, to me, the world was a completely different place. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yet, yeah, okay, a lot of these problems aren't like solved, solved, but the Overton window on in so many respects feels like it's been exploded and i don't know if that's just like elon buying twitter maybe precipitated some of this stuff but basically i feel like the pendulum is is swinging um whether it's like millet in argentina obviously but you know pierre polio all right um i guess what i'm seeing is like not just pro freedom leaders emerging but in many cases like specifically pro bitcoin leaders too um and i know a lot of bitcoin is uh skeptical about any politician anytime and like for good reason but yeah. i'm it to me it's like so good it's so insanely bullish even if like half the promises some of these people make don't get even acted on right or don't get implemented like the fact that we have aspiring leaders of major nations around the world talking positively about Bitcoin and just like shifting public consciousness on it to me is it's like insanely underrated. Like we've got at least three U S presidential candidates that have like a Bitcoin or Bitcoin slash crypto platform yeah. as a presidential election next year. Like, so, uh, to me it's, it's insanely, it's just insanely bullish.